Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported all the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Complete After Effects template is also available on my web store. You can check link in the description. Now let's see how to create this neon logo reveal. Create a new composition. I will name it as logo reveal. Time duration 2. 6 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. Now let's add the logo. Here you can scale your logo if needed, I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attributes into new composition. Perfect. Now for this logo, in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add Vegas to logo composition, for Vegas, in image contours, change channel to, alpha. Now in segments, change segment to, 1. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for rotation. Now at start of the timeline, set rotation to, 1. Now set blend mode to, stencil. Set width to, 1. Set midpoint opacity to, 1. Set end opacity to, 1. Now press T to bring up opacity. Now at 2 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start. Set opacity to, 0. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Slightly adjust the speed graph. Now for logo composition, change mode to add. Now let's create duplicate. For duplicate, set width to, 3. Now again create duplicate of logo composition, change width to, 5. Now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur, Add blur to logo composition, for blur, set blurriness to, 20. Now press U to view keyframes, for opacity, let's set end opacity keyframe to, 75%. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of logo composition. Let's set blur to, 30. And for opacity, set end opacity keyframe to, 60. Now again create duplicate of logo composition. Set blurriness to, 80. For end frame opacity, set it to, 100%. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer, for noise, Set amount of noise to, 5. Change mode to, add. Now select all layers. Pre-compose them. I will name it as neon. Perfect. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo, in effects and presets, search for simple choker. Add it to the logo composition. For simple choker, set choke mat to, 5. For logo. Go to layer style, select inner glow. For inner glow, set blend mode to, overlay. Let's set opacity to, 100%. Set color to white. 
Now set size to 35. Set range to 60%. Now press T to bring up opacity at 5 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. Set opacity to 25%. Now at start, set opacity to 0%. Now for end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's again add logo composition. In effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to the logo composition. For Vegas, in image contour, set channel to alpha. Now in segments. Set segments to 1. For blend mode, set it to transparent. Now here set color as shown. Now set width to 3. Set midpoint opacity to 1. Set end opacity to 1. Now for logo, from a layer style, select bevel and emboss. For bevel and emboss, set style to outer bevel. Set depth to 50%. Set size to 2. Set soften to 2. Now set altitude to 75 degree. Set angle to 135 degree. Now set highlight opacity to 100%. For logo composition, set mode to add. Perfect. Now let's create the glossy part. Again add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to logo composition. Set fill color to white. Now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur. Add it to the logo composition. For blur, set blurriness to 35. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo blur. Now let's add the reflection media file to the timeline. Now add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo composition, in effects and preset, search for simple choker. Add it to the logo composition. For choker, set view to matte. Set choke matte to, minus 2. Now for reflection, change track matte to, luma matte logo. Let's hide the logo blur composition. For reflection, in effects and preset, Search for displacement map. Add it to reflection media. For map, change layer to logo blur. Set horizontal and vertical displace to luminance. Set vertical displacement to zero. Set horizontal displacement to minus 110. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for levels. Add it to adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the level as shown. Now select adjustment layer, logo, reflection and logo blur, pre-compose them, name it as glossy logo. For glossy logo, in effects and preset, search for simple choker. Add it to the glossy logo. For choker, set choke mat to 16. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add glow to glossy logo. For glow, set glow threshold to 75%. Set glow radius to 170%. Set glow intensity to 5. Now press T to bring up opacity. Now at one and half second, create keyframe for opacity. Set opacity to 65%. Now at start, set opacity to 0. Now change mode to screen. Now add glossy logo to timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for simple choker, add it to the glossy logo, for choker, set choke mat to 16. In effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to logo composition. 
set iteration to 1. Now set blur radius to 315. Select repeat edge pixels, set blur dimension to vertical. Now press T to bring up opacity at one and half second. Create keyframe for opacity. Set opacity to 40%. Now at start, set opacity to 0%. Now change mode to screen. Now let's add the smoke media file to the timeline. Change mode to add. Now let's select the ellipse tool. Create mask as shown. For mask, adjust the mask feather value. Also adjust mask expansion value. Perfect. For smoke, set opacity to 60%. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for vibrance. Add it to the adjustment layer. Depending on your logo adjust vibrance and saturation as shown. Perfect. Now let's change the compositions to 3D. Create a new camera. Create null object. Change null to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position, now at end of timeline. Create keyframe for position. Now at start. Adjust Z position value as shown. Now let's create a new solid. I will name it as dark. Now let's create opacity keyframe, at 1 second create keyframe for opacity, set it to 0%. At start set opacity to 100%. You can see the preview. Now to create wiggle or blinking effect, for neon composition. For opacity, while pressing ALT key click on stopwatch of opacity. Now here you need to enter expression as shown. This expression is also provided with the project files. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our neon logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.